So I reached level 46. I've been playing since day one. It is time I make a guide slash pro tips on Pikmin Bloom. First things first, do not send postcards. Okay, maybe that's a bit much. Let me clarify. Be careful who you send postcards to because you are literally sending one of your own Pikmin to that friend and you're not getting that Pikmin back until that friend accepts the postcard. But here's the thing. What if they quit the game? You didn't know. That Pikmin's gone forever. Jeez. Besides, uh, there's you and your friend don't get anything by sending postcards, so it's really pointless, other than bragging rights. So this game is about walking. Plot twist, I know. You can either walk with the game on, or you can close the game and install the Google Fit app and uh, keep it in your pocket so it counts the steps. You can also shake the phone. That counts too. So let's discuss flowers and nectar. Look, this game has a loop to it. A cycle, if you will. Gather fruit to get nectar. Use the nectar to grow pigment to get flower petals. Plant the flowers to grow big saplings and have any expeditions spawn along the way to then repeat the process until you have an army of maxed out Pikmin. Let me go into more detail. The whole point to feeding nectar to your Pikmin is to gain friendship hearts, which four is the max, so you can then unlock a decoration for it and also collect flower petals. Pro tip, if your Pikmin has a bud on it instead of a leaf or a flower and you feed a nectar of any kind, You'll get two flower petals instead of one. Bonus. Another pro tip. If you double tap a single Pikmin, the camera will focus on it and you can feed it nectar without all the other Pikmin jumping at it. Another, another pro tip. Prioritize feeding nectar to the Pikmin who don't have four hearts. Because once they have four hearts and a decoration, they're maxed out. So you can deposit them in the storage forever until you need them for mushroom challenges. Sounds a lot like what I do in Pokemon, actually. Hmm. Also, in my early levels, I would only feed nectar to my Pikmin when it was a level requirement to collect flower petals. I always had enough nectar to feed to my Pikmin just to e immediately mark check off the flower petal requirement. But now that I'm level 46, that plan doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I gotta keep finding fruit to feed to get more petals. By the way, there are tulip petals you can get in the game, but only by purchasing it with coins. But when you plant those tulips on the floor, it's just planting other flowers. Another reason why I fed nectar to my Pikmin was uh, at level 29, it was required to get at least a two star rating in easy mushroom challenges. Uh, at level 39, you have to battle normal mushroom challenges. So the difficulty is ramping up as you get higher level. If you're a low level, prepare for mushroom challenges. I'll go into more detail later in this video. So with the petals you got, you can then plant flowers by walking. As long as you stay under 10 miles per hour, wink. By the way, depending which nectar you give them will determine what color and kind of flower petals you get. Also, when you're planting flowers, you're being timed on. So don't just stand there. You're wasting flowers by doing that. Make use of that time and keep walking. By the way, there's an option to enable to see other players planting flowers too. Now let's say you want to delete any flowers you planted, especially if maybe you planted it in your house and you don't want other players to see those flowers and go, hey, someone in that house plays Pikmin Bloom. In which case, go to the game settings, scroll all the way down, and uh, click uh, delete flower history and location log. There you go. So while you walk, expeditions will be spawning. Pro tip, in my early levels, I would purposely leave some expeditions behind, so that way, I would collect them when it's a level requirement to do expeditions. Unless I'm in a faraway place, then I'll grab everything because I don't want my Pikmin taking days to get back to me. Oh, I should mention, expeditions only last for like around three days, then they'll disappear. That happened to me. Anyway, while planting flowers, if I turn around and walk over the flowers I just planted, it won't work to an extent. See, there's a cooldown of around four to five minutes before you can plant new flowers on top of that. So I recommend doing like walking in a circle, like in a park or neighborhood. Oh, by the way, every 500 flowers you plant, you'll get one coin. This is the only way to get coins for free. All right, so big saplings. You probably saw them in the game. Depending what kind and color of flowers you plant within the circle of that big sapling, will influence what kind of flower it will bloom. And it will drop fruit, giving you nectar of that kind of flower that bloomed. So here's the thing. If you plant pansy flowers within the circle, there's a chance that flower will bloom into a rose. And then it'll drop fruit to give you rose nectar. 
Now, while it's cool to have Rose Pikmin, there's no advantage using Rose Pikmin over Pansy Pikmin. They're worth the same points when it comes to mushroom challenges. Now then, let's talk about expeditions. The amount of time it takes for your Pikmin to retrieve an item depends on how far it is from your current position. If I were to walk or drive closer to it, the estimated time will be reduced. Likewise, if I were to walk or drive away from it, the time gets extended, even if the Pikmin are almost done reaching back to me. So how can you reduce the estimated time, or ETA, for short? Well, the more Pikmin you add, the shorter time it will be. You can also add double the Pikmin of what's required. For example, this apple requires at least six Pikmin to grab, but I can add 12 Pikmin instead to, well, shorten the time even more. Pro tip, it will be foolish to only send in six Pikmin. You always want to send the maximum amount of Pikmin possible because all those Pikmin will gain friendship hearts when they come back. And you, well, honestly, you want to have the most powerful Pikmin army in the world. This, this is basically XP grinding. Another pro tip, please do not send any Pikmin that already has four hearts and a decoration because they're maxed out already. They're done. <laughs> that would be a waste of friendship hearts that could be going to someone else. By the way, I'm always sending the same Pikmin one expedition at a time. Because this is just me. I'm focused on leveling certain Pikmin to max level. Only if they're a new decoration I've never gotten or I'm forming a squad of the same color Pikmin for mushroom challenges. So which Pikmin is the fastest at expeditions? The flying pink Pikmin's number one. <laughs> Hands down. The purple ones are number two. But here's the thing. The moment you mix in other colored Pikmin with the pink ones, you ruin the ETA. In fact, if you look over here, two purple Pikmin are faster than a pink mixed with purple. If you really want the shortest ETA, only send flying pink Pikmin. Otherwise, if you don't mind waiting, send in other Pikmin that you want to level, which is what I do. All right, so detectors. You can only use it once a day. Better make it count, unless you, you pay for more. Before using it, you will see places nearby, indicating the potential decorations the Pikmin seedlings can have if they spawn in that area. Just cross your fingers, it's not roadside Pikmin, because those are the generic stickers that I always get. I like to drive to a plaza and use it there, because the plaza I go to has a hair salon, supermarket, and a restaurant. So, increase the probability of not getting a sticker. <laughs> and look, if you're about to go to sleep, and it's not midnight yet, get on the game and use it. Then you can just log off, look through the expeditions in the morning. Just make sure to use it every day. It's free. So let me ask you a question. What if you can have an expedition spawn anywhere in the world? Or in your backyard? or somewhere in town where you can get a new decoration for your Pikmin. You can. Here's how. On this calendar, tap on the plus sign and add entry. Click on the picture icon. Add any image you want. Tap on the town name or coordinates to open a map so you can select the location you want the expedition to appear. Tap save and that's it. Now there's something I want to mention about Pikmin seedlings. Every now and then when you level up, you get a single use slot. Cool, but please guys, only use it on seedlings that require a lot more steps, such as huge seedlings that require 10k steps. Don't use it on the red, blue, yellow Pikmin seedlings. It's, it's kind of a waste of a slot, unless you're really in a hurry to reach that requirement to level up by plucking out more Pikmin. While on the topic of huge seedlings, let me just say, they're weird. Okay, here's the thing. So the point of a huge seedling is once you pluck out the Pikmin, you get a decoration without the need of reaching for friendship hearts to unlock it. Cool, from a collector's standpoint, this is awesome. However, if you want to use that decorative Pikmin in mushroom challenges, you still got to get it to four friendship hearts to get the most points out of it. So here's the thing. Um, let's say you've already unlocked all the decorations of a specific category, like for example, uh, the park, right? You've collected all decorative Pikmin of a park. So if you find a huge seedling at a park, that huge seedling is useless pretty much. Cause here's the thing. It then boils down to, do you really want to spend 10,000 steps just for this one Pikmin when you could have plucked out 10 Pikmin 
that's red, blue, or yellow instead. <laughs> so, mm, mm. All right, so games typically have one goal, right? Well, Pikmin Bloom has two goals, which are collecting all the decorations and getting the highest rating in Mushroom Challenges. First, let's talk about collecting all the decorations. Gotta catch them all, right? <laughs> it's like Pokemon. Uh, now, see, if you look in your decor collector badge, you can see, well, you know, all the possible areas you can find Pikmin at. Now, keep in mind, there are certain areas, such as the supermarket, where you can find two decorations for each colored Pikmin. I would say the best place to find the widest variety of decorations would be the mall. Because the mall, you can find a clothing store, hair salon, a bakery, sweet shop, cafe, restaurant, movie theater. <laughs> it, it's, it's great. Now, typically malls are indoors, so you're protected from the weather. That's cool too. Um, another great way to acquire decorations is adding an entry to your calendar, because you can select any location you want. All right, so let's talk about mushroom challenges. It's the end game, if you will. It's the whole reason why you're leveling up friendship with your Pikmin. So the rewards you get for beating a mushroom is a postcard and fruit that gives you pansy nectar similar to the color of the mushroom. So red and pink mushrooms give red pansy nectar, blue and purple mushrooms give blue pansy nectar, Yellow mushrooms give yellow pansy nectar. That one's obvious. <laughs> and uh, white, gray, and brown gives white pansy nectar. Now, brown is a weird one, right? Because there's no brown Pikmin to get that type advantage. But I've been a, a good amount of brown mushrooms just to see if the nectar was random. But it's not. Every time I've been it, I've always gotten white pansy nectar. Huh. So let's talk about the rating. The more stars you get, the more pansy nectar you get. Four stars is the highest, even though the game shows three slots, there's secretly a fourth star plot twist. But how do you get four stars? First of all, make sure you send a whole squad of Pikmin that matches the same color as the mushroom. It gives them a power boost. It's like a Pokemon type advantage, if you will. Now, in the mushroom challenge lobby, when you select a Pikmin at the top of the screen, it will show a Pikmin's power level, if you will. The bigger the number, the better. Also, make sure you sort by friendship. It just makes it a lot easier to pick the Pikmin. Now, the more you level up, the bigger the squad size you can have to send more Pikmin. Second, make sure all the Pikmin you're sending have pansies or roses on their head. They're both worth the same points. Regular flowers is a bit weaker than pansy and roses. Third, make sure all your Pikmin have four friendship hearts and a decoration, because that's just gonna make them even stronger. Now, I'm gonna say this again. <laughs> Once a Pikmin reaches four hearts, friendship hearts, it will then get an expedition to, well, it will go on a journey back to its origin where you originally found it, even if it's across the world that you found that ceiling, to unlock a decoration, so you know it's maxed. Now, regarding huge seedlings that automatically get a decoration, you still gotta get four hearts on them. Fourth, party up with other players. <laughs> All right, look. Um, even so, okay, the first three I told you, that is the ultimate way to optimize your team. Now, here's footage right here. I was able to bring in my army of 33 Pikmin and get a four star rating on a small mushroom challenge. Awesome. But normal challenges, even with all that I just listed, my optimal, my most optimal team I still could not reach four stars on a normal mushroom on my own. I was only able to get three stars. So uh, normal and beyond, <laughs> bigger than normal, you got to party with other people if you do want a four star rating. But here's the thing. Even at my level, I'm level 46. I don't care about getting a high star rating. Not yet anyway. Why? Because I'd rather send in my weaker Pikmin to get friendship hearts. <laughs> really, honestly, I don't care about getting a one star rating. See, here's the thing, right? Uh, my squad size is 33 as of now. So my goal, my current goal is to get 33 Pikmin to four hearts and a decoration of every color. Now, that's quite the monumental task, <laughs> obviously, um, which is why I'm sending, I'm always sending my weaker Pikmin to do all the expeditions. It's XP grinding pretty much. <laughs> it's kind of the ultimate goal of this game, if you think about it. To be a Pikmin master, <laughs> uh, if you will, you need to, well, collect all the decoration, sure, but also have a squad 
of every type of Pikmin ready to take on any type of mushroom color you come across, which is a lot like Pokemon Go's raid battles, right? You have different teams ready to take on every type of Pokemon. Same thing, except in Pikmin Bloom, I just wish there were other rewards, honestly better rewards than what we have currently have now. Look, Pansy Nectar isn't really going to incentivize me to give my all in these mushroom challenges, you know? In my opinion, it's just not worth it. Again, I'd rather send in my weak Pikmin to level up and make them as strong as they can be. But that's only good for mushroom challenges, which I'm already not incentivized to doing. So what am I even doing in this loop, Niantic? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.